Is this your first time getting probed? Get everyone moving. We've got another UFO crash. Hey, there he is. New kid. New kid. The Elf King has requested your presence. You're playing for the wrong side, dude. What did Wizard Fatass tell you? That we broke the rules and took the stick last night? He's lying. Come and hit it in his desk. Drellos of the forest. We know where the humans are hiding the stick. I knew Carmen was cheating. We shall march on the school and make the hallway strip of their blood. I feel like such a homo sapien right now. The elves are here! They have blown their war horn! Blow our Stan! Okay. Elves, flank left! Goth kids, prepare to attack from behind! The front's barricaded! Commander Douchebag, see if you can get in through the side entrance and take out their defenses from behind! Your word is the command, my lord. This calls for a little bardic access. Open sesame! Attention, Elf King! The building has been fortified, and the armies of Christ shall never surrender! You will all die in this place. Humans went crazy apples in here. The walls are too strong. We've lost hundreds of men already. We're being hacked. Gently now, put your my mind to rest. Wow, what a terrific audience.
Sleep now, the whippoorwills are dancing. Gently now, put your mind to rest. Wow, what a terrific audience. New materials? after the earthquake to report for duty. <coughs> we didn't know school had been canceled. <laughs> we heard a sound from down here, found this green goo. It, it was everywhere. It changed the other hallway monitors. <coughs> well, 
It kind of serves you right for being a patsy ass hallway monitor in the first place. Something in the goo. It. It. Sin par Hagenossen! Ah! Somehow that green goo makes hallway monitors even lamer! Big Pan! Gently now, put your my mind to rest. Wow, what a terrific audience. Close your eyes, no more thinking about, thinking about your troubles. Sleep now with Jesus, for you are blessed. Gently now, put your my mind to rest. Wow, what a terrific audience.
been great. Wow, what happened to these guys? It might just be Nazis. We don't know that they're Nazi zombies yet. What is all this green stuff? Gently now, put your my mind to rest. Wow, what a terrific audience. Set them up and knock them down. Please, Steven! This will make a great verse in my hero poem. Oh no! 
juice bag. Man the catapult and let our guys in the front door. Everyone fall in. Use your magic to open the front door. Yes! Okay, now through the main door, before they can regroup. You take point, we'll rally behind you. Well, if it isn't Cal's Lapta, the traitor douchebag. Gently now, put your my mind to rest. Wow, what a terrific audience. My music is no match for a hero like you. Sleep now, the whippoorwills are de dancing. Gently now, put your my mind to rest. Wow, what a terrific audience. Don't forget to... 
Tip your serving winch. Fresh meat for my trusty wolf companion. This is gonna be so sweet when you double cross Kyle at the last minute, huh? Am I right? I'm back. Ow! Badass is in there with the stick. Commander Douchebag, lead us to victory. Back away from the desks, wizard fat ass. You're a traitor, douchebag. How could you? Because he knows who the cool kids are. Go ahead and kick Cartman's ass, new kid. I brought you into the game. I made friends with you before anybody else would. He doesn't want to play with cheaters. I understand the elves have clouded your mind. Fight it, new kid. Come back to the lads. Attack Kyle! What are you waiting for, dude? Punch him right in his smug little lying face. Get him, new kid. It's not me you should be fighting, it's him! So pick a side! Kick his ass, douchebag! Ah. Oh, you motherfucker! I knew you were a fucking douchebag! I thought what we had together was real, douchebag! So fucking awesome. <laughs> I'm right Only one Grand Wizard of the KKK! school just have tabletops but t twitter said th look over here this desk has writing on it check my locker whose desk is that that's that's clad's desk greetings humans and drow elves of zarod clyde he took the stick while you've all been busy fighting amongst yourselves, I have built a kingdom beyond your comprehension. I prayed for a way to destroy you all, and the solution came crashing down from the heavens. Oh no, it's more of that green stuff! With what I have found, I shall raise an army of the dead! I shall raise an entire army of darkness and kill the Earth! Clyde, but why? I banished him to be lost in space and time, and now he's all pissed off. So you see, fools, I control the stick and the future of the Earth! Clyde, do you want a sandwich? Not now, Dad, I'm making a Ruler of Darkness video.
Whoever controls the state controls the universe. And my first deed is that I hereby denounce the human and the elf kingdoms and strip both kings of all their power. <laughs> Motherfucker! Oh, hello, boys. Can we speak to Clyde, please? Oh, Clyde's out playing in the backyard with his little friends. Come and get it, losers! <laughs> you can't do that, Clyde! You're lost in time and space! No, I'm not! Yeah, you are, asshole! Army of Darkness, defend the fortress! Greg, you're on my side! You don't have authority anymore. The Keeper of the Stick said so. This can't be happening. God damn it, I have fucking authority! Sorry, warriors and wizards. I'd love to invite you into my Fortress of Darkness, but I'm afraid you're too late. Too late? What do you mean we're too late? There you are, butters. Do you know what time it is, mister? It is way past your bedtime. Oh, shit, it's past our bedtime? Dude, I'm gonna get it! <laughs> Clyde, it's past your bedtime. <laughs> okay, coming, Dad. <laughs> there you are! We've been looking all over for you! You are grounded, mister! You march right on home and go to sleep! Now I want you to go to bed and think about what you've done. Good night, my little gumdrop. Hope you're enjoying all the peace and quiet in our new home as much as we are.
Sometimes feel like we should tell him the truth. Why? So we can relive it all in his head? It's better that he can't remember. But if he really has this gift, he, he's going to discover it again on his own anyway. And then they'll try and use him for his gift and he'll become a weapon. They won't stop looking for him. We have to keep everything secret, even from him. I'm so frazzled. Will you just make love to me? Of course I will, darling. <sighs> <sighs> <sighs>
See me in the panties? They're on sound. Fuck! Fuck me! Fuck me, you fucking cocksucker! Come <laughs> on. 
decided to bless us with his presence. Let's get started. Humans and elves of Zaron, a great evil has descended upon us. After researching last night, I believe we are facing a threat to our entire world. Clyde's Fortress of Darkness is over four stories tall. So far, he has recruited at least 50 warriors to be on his team, and he is... <laughs> you have something to say, wizard? Uh, nothing. Just think it's kind of funny how drow elves in the Middle Ages can use PowerPoint. <laughs> you guys, this is serious! Clyde is attempting to raise an army of darkness. I believe he is messing with something he cannot control. He has recruited many of our friends, and so... Our only hope is for our two factions to join forces. Fuck that! We do not team up with fucking elves! You got a better idea, wizard fat ass? After what you elves did us at the Battle of Wormsley Woods, you think we'll ever trust you? Yeah, you, you tell it, Butter. That, that was Jimmy's fault and he apologized. Oh, oh, we're apologizing now. How about we apologize for breaking the rule about using arcane fire magic? Yeah. Hey, that was the human's rule, not ours. Join forces, my paladin ass. Only good elf is a dead elf. Why don't you t t suck my elven dick, Butters? Enough! Whether we are human or elfins are gonna matter one bit if all of Zaron is taken over by German zombies. We saw what that green stuff does. We better figure out a way to stop Clyde or there won't be a world to fight in. Even if we join forces, we don't have enough warriors. So we recruit more factions to join us. The Pirates, the Federation, and the girls. The girls? Kyle, the girls are not gonna fucking play with us. Yeah, dude, we can't convince girls to do this. No, but maybe the new kid can. The new kid has a power we have yet to understand. He makes friends on Facebook faster than any we have seen. He is really good at getting Facebook friends, I'll give him that. Find a way to get the girls to side with us, Commander Douchebag. I'll deal with the other factions. The rest of you, return to your stations and prepare for war! Huzzah! Give it back! Give it back! Why don't you make us? That's my Justin Bieber toy. Not anymore, it's not. Aw, did Baby lose her toy? Ah! Who's this? Beat a kid if you know it's good for you. You want to throw down, dog? I'll throw down. Skip. This one time, when I didn't like a kid, I ground his parents up into chili and fed it. I did. You like beating up on girls? Oh, I hope he didn't break it. Oh, phew. He thinks I owe you one, kid. What is this? The boys want us to play with them? I do owe you one. I can take you to the girls, but I don't think they'll be very willing to play with boys. Do you wish to speak to the girls now? The 412th meeting of the girls is hereby called to order. Sparkle, sparkle. Sunshine! Sunshine, sparkle. Millie Larson has the floor. If it pleases and sparkles, I move that we vote immediately on the urgent matter involving Monica Ryland. Yes! Yeah, right away! Right away. Right away. Excuse me, I'm sorry, but I have an urgent matter that I believe needs to be addressed first. The chair acknowledges Annie. Sunshine, sparkle. Annie Nitz has the floor. If it pleases and sparkles, a messenger comes with a request from the boys. Yeah. Yeah. Ew. 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 Yes. What request do the boys ask of us? He doesn't really talk. That's hot. The boys are playing some new role-playing game, and the new kid here wants us to join his team. What? We don't have time for that. Something very big happened, and we must do something. I know. I thought maybe he could help. Oh, that's not a bad idea. I glitter Annie's idea. Sunshine Sparkle, a motion has been glittered to have the new kid help with Monica Ryland. All right, new kid, look. There are terrible rumors going around town that our good friend Allie Nelson was spotted at the abortion clinic. I have never been to the abortion clinic. I'm not a whore. We aren't sure, but we think the girl spreading the rumors about Allie is Monica Ryland. And then she has the gall to act all nice to me. We have to know for sure if Monica Ryland is a two-faced bitch or not. So, we're gonna send Monica a Facebook page with your picture, then tell her that you're Bebe's boyfriend from Lakewood, and you wanna meet her and ask her what the best thing to get Bebe for her birthday would be, and see if Monica tries to hit on you at all, because that way we can see if Monica is a manipulative bitch. Right. Do this task for us, and the girls will consider your request. Sparkle! Sunshine! You'll find Monica waiting for you at the park. All you have to do is pretend to be Bebe's long-distance boyfriend. When the job is done, come see me. Oh, hi. You must be Mike. So, 
You want to talk about Bebe, huh? Well, look, Bebe's my friend. I think she's really great. I, I don't know if she's the end-all, be-all of girls. I mean, she's a little two-faced, if you ask me. But, hey, I've read a lot of your Facebook profile, and I think you're a really interesting boy. Aha! We knew it! You two-faced manipulative whore! What the heck? Thank God we sent the new kid to spy on you, huh, girls? Yeah! Now we know you're a two-faced bitch! What do you mean? You guys are my best friends! Then why are you hitting on my Facebook boyfriend? We brought someone else who might be interested. Monica, what the fuck are you doing? Uh-oh. Hey, Jake. Have fun, you two-faced skank. Guys, wait, please, come back! What's the big idea trying to fuck my girlfriend? Nothing to say, huh? Well, maybe you'll understand that. Oh, hell no! I've got bigger things to deal with. New Kid, we want to thank you for helping us determine whether or not Monica was a two-faced bitch. She really made us mad, but it turns out she couldn't have been the one spreading rumors about Allie Nelson going to the abortion clinic. Yeah, so we made up. You guys are the best. You see, the thing is, Heidi Turner was supposed to put on the Facebook page that you were Bebe's boyfriend, but she didn't. Because Heidi Turner is a two-faced bitch who says she likes me, then tries to stab me in the back. Right, so we need to know if Heidi Turner is the two-faced bitch who's spreading rumors about Allie being spotted at the abortion clinic. But in order to do that, we need people to think you're a girl. Makeover! Makeover! Oh, no, you didn't. All right, new kid, get inside the abortion clinic and find the records room. Take a picture of all the records from the past week and text them to us. That will help us find out who the two-faced bitch is. I'm sure you can appreciate why none of us can do this. If any of us are spotted in there, people might think we're sluts like Jessica Rodriguez. Hey, guys. Hey, Jesse. Hi, hi, guys. hi. Hey, hey, Jessie. Hey, Jessie. Hey, Jessie. Hey, Jessie. Hey, Jessie. What are you up to? Oh, nothing. Just finding out which of our friends is a two-faced bitch. Cool. We'll see you around. Awesome. Skank. All right, now go in there and get to the records room. Find out if Jesse had an abortion. Something strange is going on here. The PTA reviewed that tape you got us. The Taco Bell has something called a Plan B. There's an outbreak here! We have contamination in Sector 7! All units to Sector 7 now! Ready! And... Let me the plan! <laughs> Ah! 